Right, boys, I know we haven't been playing too well recently. The results haven't been going our way, but I have made a few tactical changes and a few suggestions to your overall play. So if we just look over to the tactic board on my left here. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, let's just calm ourselves down a little bit. Let's not go overboard. Whoa, right. Take a step back, boys. Just chill out. Just listen to me and we'll get through this rough cut. Right, Aiden, you can calm yourself down, mate. You haven't exactly been playing well. How many goals have you scored? Not many. The, the few you have scored haven't exactly been, been tough teams, have they? So sit down, mate. Right, Max, you're my captain. You're meant to be having my back here. Right, you can sit down, otherwise I'm going to have to unplug you. What do you mean you don't get the joke? What's your last name? Power. So, deep plug pa Forget it. Right, I'll see you on the training pitch. Holy smokes. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode five of the Sunderland Till I Die series here on Football Manager 2021. Before we get into it, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you for the continued support on this series up to this point. I really, really do appreciate it. And I'm going to work my absolute hardest to make every single episode the best they can be for you guys and to be worthy of the incredible support you have given me so far. And of course, if you do enjoy today's episode, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit subscribe. It really, really does help and I really do appreciate it. And if you hit that notification bell as well, you will be alerted when these episodes are released. Now let's get into it. Viewers, I literally can't catch any sort of luck right now. It's going really, really badly. It's going absolutely terribly right now. The board are saying that they're satisfied with my performance. I'm not. I might actually get the sack here if I don't improve quickly. I could be without a job for the first time doing YouTube. I could get sacked in a series because it's not going well at all. Since the last episode, we haven't won a single game. Obviously, the last episode was uh, the 2-0 defeat at the hands of Blackpool. And since then... Oh, two very, very disappointing results. I think I said in the last episode that these two games were such winnable games. Games to be able to get our league back on track. But instead of that, it has put our, my job and our league performance at a very, very high risk of not being able to meet the board expectations. Because Burton and Wigan were in the relegation zone at the time we played them and we haven't beat them. We lost and drew. I'm gutted, everyone, honestly. This was like... And going into this game against MK Dons, it's going to be so difficult. I mean, it'll be just... It'll be us, won't it? We'll beat MK Dons, but then we've got Lincoln right after. 23rd, we'll lose about 4-0 to them, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, but of course, the two games that you did miss, the... First game was a 3-1 defeat at home at the hands of Burton. As I said, Burton were in the relegation zone at the time. And we were their first win since the 10th of October. Oh, it was honestly, I was stressing out so much over this game. We did not perform at all. Ben Woodburn getting the only game, only game, only goal of the game for our side. And Burton were absolutely rampant, everyone. They're absolutely like dominant a 3-1 resounding win with Mancine, Brayford and Aikens Akins getting on the score sheet for Burton honestly this could have been a 5 or 6-1 not even kidding like their expected goals the shots on target the chances they had we were so lucky not to get absolutely demolished by a team in 23rd which once again we probably should be winning but our confidence right now is in the bloody mud we can't get out of this mud everyone we're stuck we're literally like trying to get out it's not happening, and oh, I, I don't know what to do. I literally do not know, know what to do here, tactic-wise. I don't know what I can change. I don't know anything, really. I've done a little bit of admin in terms of going to each individual, trying to just like tell the players their conduct's well, they've been poor. So the confidence has gone up a little bit, but not as like not as much to make us... like actually potentially win a game so this game like this mk don's game could be like the final sort of nail in the coffin 
before we have a, a board meeting. So if you're all looking forward to seconds, fasten, get your seatbelts ready, everyone. Get your seatbelts, fasten in, get your drinks. It's going to be a lovely time. Uh, but the next game, this last game off screen was a 2-2 two -two draw at the hands of Wigan. Once again, Wigan in the, were in the relegation zone at the time, but we were only able to get a point, which quite frankly, I'll take a point um, at this point. I'm basically a poet poet that's the one uh, i'm basically a poet now a point i'll take a point the point is what was the most important point whatever i, I won't continue <laughs> um no but jordan jones being our savior a little bit with two goals we were quite unlucky not to probably not to get the win with a wheel and getting the 65 minute goal but it was a very, very dull affair. Nine shots overall. Only five on target throughout the entire game. It could have gone either way, unfortunately. Both teams got a point. And this, once again, I'll take a point. I really, really will. Because that did at least keep us within touch and distance of the playoffs. We are six points. No, seven points away from MK Dons. Which is only, you know, it's only two wins. And we do have a game in hand over some of the teams above us. So... If we get a win, it's a massive if against MK Dons. We can really fly up the table. Uh, I say fly up. We'll go 11th. Uh, overtaking Accrington, Shrewsbury and Portsmouth. It's not a good time at the moment. If you look at our dynamics, my managerial support's going up. Team cohesion is not really moved. While club atmosphere, it's not going well. It's not going well at all. Obviously, there are a few other things that are hindering that. But the main thing is that we've only won one in five. And we really need to start changing that. And in terms of the tactics, I mean, I don't really know what to change. We've went with a 4-2-3-1. We've gone with a 4-2-2-1. There's not really any other formations that I'm particularly familiar with that the players can really positionally play and play well. Because we want to make the most out of our best players. So the likes of Jordan Jones, Ben Woodburn, Max Power, Scowen and Luke 9 Like, these are the players that should be performing well, but they're just not. So I've decided... Focus play down the right, focus play down the left for Woodburn and Jones. Try and get them on the ball a little bit more because we're not getting the ball to them enough. And they are our best players um, in the team. And we need to try and make the most out of them. Jordan Jones has been the sort of the rough diamond out of the Sapphires or the diamond in the rough, so to speak. Yeah, with four goals in the past five games. No, it'll be four goals all season, won't it? Four goals all year and 18 appearances and... Considering he's our best player, that is not good enough for a man of his ability. So, yeah, I mean, boys, put your put some suggestions in the comments. Let me know what you think I can change because at the moment, I don't really know what I can do. If I'm honest with you, I re I'm I'm stuck. I'm really, really, I'm stuck. I'm thinking. I'm trying to just try and think of a tactic that can get us chances, but right now. I'm really, really stuck and I need your guys' help with it. So put in the comment section below what you think uh, I could change. I said this last episode, but thankfully, with our with us meeting the expectation of Carabao Cup and the FA Cup, the board are sort of satisfied at the moment. But if we finish mid-table at the end of the year, I'm going to be in big, big trouble. And the fact that we're not playing attacking football, not really playing possession football either, it's only a matter of time before we get to that C-, minus, that D, sort of managerial performance and when we're at that point the meetings are going to come and the meeting could come after this game we don't know now i'm thinking what i want to change here i think having that dense defensive midfielder we desperately need because if we don't have that defensive midfielder we're going to get torn apart because my defense is not good enough and to be honest our strike uh, isn't that good either like we haven't got an out and out striker and coming into january that is one position we are going to be looking for i am going to be looking for players in january i might do a full january transfer special i don't know yet um that might be like a 35 45 minute uh, episode i'm not too sure but yeah we're probably gonna have to bring some players in thankfully we do have a little bit of money to play with in terms of the wages we can obviously increase that to get onto a 54,000 financially we're not doing great because we're not playing well which isn't attracting any people so yeah I think we're gonna stick with the tactic for now but we're gonna have to find a solution I can't even turn to my youth setup either because no one's particularly great I mean Benjamin no no let's let's not do that we're not we're not going well we are desperate but we're not that desperate right here we go, boys. Get your score predictions in the comments. Uh, do let me know what you think the score prediction will be. Um, Aidan O'Brien has been an absolute nightmare. He scored one goal in, thir in 13 games. 
he has got a 6.42 rating, everyone. A 6.42, Aiden, you need to go away, please. Honestly, you're about as useful as a potato. Oh, please leave me, Aiden, please. You, you. Oh, help me, everyone, help me. Right, meltdown over. Aiden, I hate you. Don't want you in my team, mate, so get out. Get, get out. Right, who do you want? Ross Stewart. I remembered your name, which means you're going to perform fantastically well for me. Just do so. How tall is Six foot two. Right. Target man. You want to be a target man? You can be a bloody target man. You you can be whatever position you want, Stuart, as long as you score in this game. I've just realised we have fitness issues, but it's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Nothing nothing bad will happen, viewers. I'm sure. Oh, right. Any tip players here? Ethan Liard. He's, the, he's a good player, isn't he? Reese Williams from Liverpool. Oh. Harry Darling. Harry Darling. I mean, his missus must get... He must get confused when his missus calls him. Harry Darling. Oh, Harry Darling. No, I know that's my name. Harry Darling. I mean, well, imagine trying to tell someone his name. What's your name? Oh, my name's Harry Darling. I beg your pardon? Harry Darling. No, my name's not Harry. No, my name's Harry Darling. Stop calling me Darling. Oh, Harry, you must have a hell of a time trying to buy something or whenever you try and say your name i do like it though i mean at least it's not harry mrs or harry marry harry marry harry marry do you marry mrs marry <laughs> what am i doing right anyway let's get into the game everyone uh individually let's quickly do this um josh going luco nine jordan right individuals this is what we want individuals come on though. for fuck oh help it's gone well, everyone. It's gone absolutely brilliantly. Right. I, I need a miracle, everyone. I need a bloody miracle. As the team's come out, I'm not confident. Right. Very early chance. Four minutes in. And it is for us. I mean, if we get a goal in the fourth minute, I am debating shutting up shop immediately because I need anything. Max power. Willis. Nice play. Right on the right side. Right into the goalkeeper's hands. I'll see myself out. Uh, right. If we get counter-attacked again, I'm going to be absolutely bloody furious. Uh, Fisher, fishing. Um, oh, my God. I swear to God, don't do this game, please. Gladwin. Sorry, Nola. Oh, Gladwin, Fraser. Sorry, Nola. I mean, they're just playing it around like it's five-a-side game show-offs. Kasuma, oh my god, what is this defending? Right, thank god we've defended it. Lard on the right-hand side, he's got good crossing ability. It's a good cross in, thank we're able to get it away. Nothing yet, Kasuma picks up the ball deep in our half. I mean, they are spraying it at the moment. Gladwin, Jerome, I mean, what the hell has Max done there? Is this a chance to counter-attack maybe? It's not, and MK Dons are the better side right now. Oh, it's another chance, I'm not confident. Please. What <laughs> what was that? What was that goalkeeping? Sorry, Nola. Right, Matthews with the save. And I realise how little people are in our stadium right now. So MK Dons are absolutely destroying us. Hmm. I mean we have got a shot, which is a positive. I mean we do move up to 13th for the point, so maybe I'll just lock up shop Jose Mourinho, park the entire bus fleet in front of my goal. I mean, they've had a good start, but late getting into the later stages of the first half, they haven't really done a lot, have they, viewers? I don't think they have. As we get towards half time, I mean, all we need is a corner kick, and we are deadly with that six foot two Goliath of a man we have up top. I'm pleased. Right! I screwed up the first one, made up for the second. Come on! Right, love to see it. Come on, boys. Let's get ourselves a win. I'm confident in our ability. Let's keep encouraging the boys. Oh, here we go. This is where we score, everyone. Power. Scowen. Stewart. Here we go. Top six foot two of BFG. Woodburn. Oh, go on, mate. This is where you're deadly. Go on. You've got to pass it. What are you doing? <laughs> Glad to win. If we concede now, I may as well put the keeper up top. Lewington. Fraser. Please defend. Please, def right? Okay, that's good. Remy Matthews. I mean, do you want to pass? Gladwin. How bloody wide are they? Liard. That's a great tackle. Oh no. 
Oh. I don't know what to do. Right. Let's just change stuff. Let's put you there. Let's go really wide. And then let's put power as a box to box. Let yeah, let's just do this. Let's just do this, everyone. Let's let's just go mental. Scowen as a deep line playmaker. And Stewart is an advanced forward or poacher. Let's just do a poacher. Let's see what happens. This might not work. I mean, if we somehow get a result from this, I'll be astonished. Oh, come on, boys. We need to get ourselves a chance here. In positive anything, please. Right, forget this sh rubbish. Early crosses, direct, higher tempo. This is what fixes football teams. Now, 50 minutes to go. It's quickly coming apparent that we might lose this game. We have got two extra shots, though, everyone. Right. I'm furious. I'm 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 literally about to lose my absolute marbles. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, right. Target man. Support. O'Brien, do something useful in your footballing career and do a poacher's job. Come on, boys. Oh. No, stop, stop. Oh, for it to go. Right. Um, You there. You up there. Let's get another striker on. Charlie White. You there. Let's focus play through the middle. Oh. Right. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Just do something, please. Oh. Oh, my God. It's a penalty. Please don't miss this. We are the best team in world football, everyone. I've missed the penalty. You're kidding. It was a penalty, apparently. Come on. Let's, can we do it, everyone? Can we do it? Max, imagine. Imagine it. Imagine it. I can't. I mean, we'll take it. We'll absolutely take that. It's fine. I don't I don't know how it was a penalty, but it was. And I will, I will take that to the bank and cash it in with... The cashier. Come on! I can't believe I missed the penalty. Let's go. A point. We'll take it. Oh, Jesus wept. Oh, right. What are the boards saying? Bollocks. Oh. Everyone, help, please. Everyone, help me. Oh, no. Right, we need to get some results. Uh, where are we going to come back for the next game? We're two unbeaten, by the way. Uh, we are going to come back for the Accrington Stanley game, everyone. We're going to come back. Actually, no. Yes. The Accrington Stanley game, everyone. We'll come back to, and we have got a few games in between then and there. Some in the trophy, some in the league. Hopefully, we've got a season back on track. We'll have to wait and see. But, of course, that is going to bring us to the end of the episode ladies and gentlemen thank you all so much for watching of course if you did enjoy today's episode make sure you hit that like button that subscribe and leave a juicy little comment as well it really really does help and i really do appreciate it take care of yourselves now good morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and i'll see you in the next episode hopefully if i don't get sacked goodbye <laughs>